Welcome back guys. So today I have my Ford Taurus 2009 in the garage. I bought this car recently from an auction and it's uh, FBI, previously FBI owned vehicle. Um, so the chassis must be very good. And you know, there's some, uh, some details into it, but anyway. Um, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna go ahead and do the engine oil service and I will show you step by step how to do so. All right, stay tuned. All right, so I just popped the hood. So as you can see, the engine's pretty nice and clean. Everything seems to be intact. Um, and let me show you where the oil filter, right down there. As you can see, the white one, the white color one, that's the oil filter. So I'm gonna have to get under the vehicle and uh, uh, take that oil filter out after draining the oil uh, meanwhile what we're gonna do we're gonna open this oil cap right here so it will make everything easy when it comes to draining the engine oil all right stay tuned please okay so just to explain what kind of tool you're gonna need in order to do your oil change on this 2009 Ford Taurus one of my favorite car they are the most uh, reliable strongest American vehicle so you're gonna need 15 mm socket with a wrench and to open the oil filter, uh, just make sure you have a right size or the plier, whichever you have the tool handy. And this is the part number on the oil filter right here. I just got the uh, Fram instead of the Motocraft. So let's get under the vehicle so we can drain the oil and uh, to remove the oil, oil filter. All right, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. So this is the oil filter right here. I'm gonna open this once I drain the oil. And so this is your drain plug right here. And it's 15 mm uh, bolt. You're gonna use your 15 mm socket or wrench and drain the oil fluid from here. And I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, um, open and loosen up so I can drain the oil, uh, engine oil out of there. All right, let's drain this uh, nasty oil, oil flute. Got this kind of loose, so I can easily remove by my hand. There we go, almost there. All right, all right, so we're gonna let this drain for a while. Once it's done, then we're gonna go ahead and remove this uh, oil filter, all right? Let me get my tools so we can go ahead and uh, prep for removing this oil filter. All right, guys, so it has stopped draining, so I'm gonna put the nut back in it, all right? All right, so once I tied this up, next step would be just removing the oil filter, which is right here. Sorry, right there. All right, go ahead. I mean, let me go ahead and uh, remove this. I'll be right back. All right, let's remove this oil filter. Hopefully it won't be too much of, uh, well, there it is. So you gotta be careful when you're removing this oil filter because right next to your oil pan, it may have a lot of engine oil and you wanna make sure you have the drain pan right below this. Otherwise you will have such a mess everywhere on your floor. As you can see, if I wasn't wearing this glove, I will be so messy. All right, let me go ahead and remove this out quickly so we can install the new oil filter. Oops, see, there we go. All right, it's time to go ahead and install the new oil filter. All right, almost done here. So once I'm done with this, I'm gonna, just gonna go ahead and tie this up all the way. And then we're gonna go ahead and you know start filling up the engine oil from the top okay all right stay tuned please all right now it's time to go ahead and add the new engine oil in there 
So we're using 5W20 Mobile One, full synthetic. It may take about six quads, so I will see how many exactly it's gonna take, but I'm gonna go ahead and start pouring in the new engine oil and let you know how many quads it took. All right, guys, so after pouring the engine oil and checking the, uh, you know, the, the gauge, the fluid check, um, apparently it just needed one gallon of 5W20 and that's all it took, so you should be good, unless if your oil filter was new, in that case, you may wanna add just a little bit more than a uh, gallon, and you should be good to go. All right, so we are done here. I do have another issue that I got to add a free on. Uh, my AC compressor is okay, everything is good, but just my vehicle has um, low refrigerant. So we're gonna go ahead and add the free on into it. There will be another video, I will post that. Uh, but that's the port right here. That's for the low pressure right here, and this is for the high. So we're gonna go ahead, crank the engine, run the AC, and add the uh, Freon from this port uh, until it get cool, and it's full all the way. So please stay tuned for that video. I will go ahead and post that after. Uh, I hope you like this video, and it has helped you how to do your engine oil service yourself in your garage. Please give us a thumbs up and be a part of our community. I would highly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Stay tuned for more videos.